I'm sitting at the console of the organ at Holy Trinity Brompton. It was built in 1930, but not for here, by Rushworth and Draper. Um, it was built for St. Mark's North Audsley Street. Moved here in 1980 by Percy Daniels. And as you'll see when I do a little improvisation before, uh, later, there's, there's lots of sort of different cases. It's not the most beautiful organ to look at, um, and in a church which um, has got a varied style of worship. Um, you wouldn't necessarily think they would even have an organ here, but they cherish this organ. Uh, they look after it very well. We've had a, a rolling program of maintenance work, including uh, new mixtures on the swell and the great um, new expression box motors. We've cleaned the solo and the great pipe work. And, and there's a continue, continuous program of work going on. Um, we just thought it'd be interesting for you to hear um, this glorious organ, because uh, it doesn't really get that much um, uh, exposure, I suppose, on the London organ scene, and it's really beautiful. Uh, some lovely um, solo colours. We've got uh, some beautiful, uh, beautiful strings on the on the solo. Very, very keen. Um, an echo dulciana, which is super quiet. Not sure if you can even hear that. But very useful for accompanying other stops. stops. Um, on the choir organ, we've got um, some really extravagant stops. A flute boucher harmonie, four foot, with an orchestral flute at eight. Really lovely. Um, and, but what, what is interesting, and, and particularly for 1930, is that there's some mutations. Now, these are not mutations necessarily designed for French classical music. They're more for colouring. But nevertheless, they're interesting. So if I hold a note down, I'll give you them. Eight foot, four, two two thirds, a two foot Zauber piccolo, tears, and a septième, which you can just hear sort of drowning around in the background. But the, there's some really interesting five pipe of four foot, a two for two thirds, tears, and septième. Sounds like a little reed. And I guess that's the idea for the, of, of these stops. We've got a beautiful French horn, similar to the one at Great Malvern Priory, which we copied for our um, brand new organ at Auckland Cathedral. All under expression. And, uh, nice and rich at the bottom. A um, little clarinet. And a really keen orchestral oboe. And then a big tuba. Um, so I'll give you a little demonstration of the, of the whole uh, organ. I'll pick a few colours up and just basically go from nothing to everything, which is quite something.